A News 13 investigation into safety issues at Buncombe County Schools has now sparked a state investigation. Meanwhile, county officials have already found electrical issues and have decided to inspect every school in the district. News 13 investigative reporter Mike Mason uncovered this alarming failure. Mike? Yeah, a whistleblower claims supervisors told workers not to pull permits or inspect jobs for electrical and fire safety issues for years. The state is now investigating, and we're also learning this could end up costing taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars. And we replaced those batteries. Greg uh, Fox is the director of maintenance for the Buncombe County School District. He and his electrical supervisor, Scott Emery, are now the focus of an investigation into why critical safety work wasn't permitted or inspected for years. It's been July 2011. So. A retired school electrician, John Payne, blew the whistle, saying workers were told not to pull any permits. I said, are you going to get this inspected? And he said, no. These claims are also backed up by several contractors. They said, no, don't worry about permits. Who said that exactly? Uh, Scott Emery said that, that that was their protocol. We asked Fox about those allegations. I would have to talk with uh, Scott Emery. You would have to ask him that question. I wasn't there. Don't know what Mr. Emery had told us. In the so video. you're not aware of any of this? Absolutely not. Well, he's not telling the truth. Now the state's board of examiners of electrical contractors will investigate who is telling the truth. State officials watched our reports online and yesterday launched investigations into both Fox and Emery. Among the issues they'll investigate, whether Emory or Fox engaged in malpractice or gross negligence. One thing we know for sure, the county will now have to inspect every school in the district. But if we had not brought these issues to your attention, you wouldn't have known to do this. Yeah, yeah probably not. I mean, it definitely, it, it forced us to um, put a plan together that we felt was the most immediate way to address it. Matt Stone is director of the county's Department of Permits and Inspections. A few weeks ago, we gave him dozens of work orders for electrical jobs done by district workers without the required permits and inspections. Stone has since ordered the district to pull those permits. His inspectors will then check those jobs to determine if there's any work that would have to be brought up to code. Stone has already found problems, one involving an electrical panel at Pisgah Elementary. You have to have a proper working clearance in front of that panel, and where this one was installed on that work order that you gave us, it was not installed correctly. So we made him move it to the outside wall. He found another problem involving overloaded breakers at Estes Elementary. You know, it's made to trip, and you don't want a situation where it could heat up to a point where it wouldn't trip. So, you know, it, it's a potential fire hazard. Because of this, Stone has launched a district-wide investigation, checking electrical and fire safety issues at all 40 schools. At T.C. Robertson alone, six inspectors will be checking work, and at $75 per hour per inspector, that's a hefty bill for taxpayers. This is certainly costing taxpayers more money than it would if things were done properly the first time around. Yes. And Stone can't say how long these inspections will take, but he admits they could cost taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars, and that number doesn't include any of the work done by the school district.